I'm Jude, I'm 11. I'm walking 210 miles from Hilton Bridge to London. It's going to take 21 days. And I'm doing this because I want the UK government to introduce a carbon tax. This is how far Jude Walker is willing to go for the environment. The schoolboy climate activist with a perfectly apt surname needs 100,000 signatures on a petition calling for a carbon tax before it will be considered for debate by Parliament. As it stands, just under 57,000 people have signed it. One day I was just, uh, mummy was in bed and I was, and then the idea, well, the idea itself suddenly struck me. I went upstairs and told old mummy my idea, and she said, like, okay, and then fell back to sleep. And then the next day, I, well, uh, the next day, I, she said, okay, why don't you just try a, a training walk? walk. And I did a, 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 tra a 10 mile training walk from, the, from the Hebden Bridge to Elland along the canal. And then I thought that was really easy because it was just completely flat. And then she said, okay, why don't you try four really hilly walks in a row? And I did that and I thought, oh, I can definitely do this. This is really easy. I mean, it's not been really easy, but. <laughs> Earlier this month, a UN climate panel warned that global warming is dangerously close to spiralling out of control, and the world is already certain to face further climate disruptions for decades, if not centuries, to come. Walker said serious measures to slow climate change must be agreed to at the UN climate conference known as COP26 in Scotland later this year. It would just be a dystopian world, I think, if this, if this summer doesn't go to plan. COP26. Cop if we don't, if we don't make a absolute um, legal changes, so I know Great Britain, it's, in, it's the law. We have to be carbon neutral by 2050. I want us to make non-optional, set in stone rules that we have to stick to in this summit, and that includes carbon taxes. The 11-year-old has been walking 10 miles every day, accompanied on each day's walk with either members of his family or friends. Walker is due to complete his journey in St James's Park on August the 14th. I just think it's great and he's standing up for something that he believes in. He's worked really hard. It's not been easy to get up every day and walk 10 miles, you know, especially when the weather's been less pleasant. Um, but he's, he's done it and now, you know, he's doing it and he will, you know, get to London within the time frame, which is not, not very long away now. And I just feel really proud of him.